Good evening. With a budget in surplus for the first time in 12 years, tonight's announcement by the Treasurer will be more than just a back in black message. With a raft of sweeteners, including a boost for infrastructure and expected tax cuts designed to tempt voters, it will be the unofficial start to the election campaign. The first time Treasurer front and centre. Josh Frydenberg running a bit behind schedule. Sorry, for a few minutes late. But confident his early budget will deliver. Average families can expect out of this budget that their cost of living pressures will be eased. Insisting the first projected budget surplus in more than a decade is no accident. It's the product of responsible decisions and an economic plan that is working. There was a last-minute look over the numbers with veteran finance minister Matthias Cormann. Tonight is going to be an important night. Today, he urged voters to stay the course with the coalition. Not the time to change direction. A budget surplus, just the success story the Prime Minister wants to promote as he channelled ACDC in an early morning social media splash. The coalition may be back in black, but Labor was wearing red. We're in the active wear, Shadow Treasurer. Getting ready for office. A beaming Bill Shorten also on the move. Six more weeks to the election. Drawing attention to education funding and showing off his united team. <laughs> what is it that they say they can do in the next six weeks that in the previous six years they didn't do? There's been too much instability. Three Liberal Prime Ministers, 13 energy policies, 22 reshuffles. Now they want at five minutes to midnight to get you to forget all the chaos. Dismissing tonight's budget as nothing more than a political leaflet. The coalition has already promised at least $5 billion towards infrastructure projects, including roads and rail. Energy cash handouts of up to $125 to deal with rising power prices, cheaper medicines for breast and skin cancer patients and a softening of superannuation rules for over 65s. The centrepiece of this budget is expected to be personal income tax cuts. Existing tax breaks will be expanded and brought forward, giving low and middle income earners an extra $25 a week. The Prime Minister has the call. The next challenge will be pushing the changes through in a hurry. This side of the House will never say that some people deserve tax cuts and other people deserve tax increases. Does the Prime Minister seriously expect his last-minute decision to imitate Labor's bigger, better, fairer tax cuts will con the Australian people into believing that the last six years of chaos, cuts and division didn't happen? Before both parties pack their bags and officially hit the hustings. And SBS reporter Hannah Sinclair is outside Parliament House. She joins me now. Hannah, the details of this budget, of course, will be known shortly, but just how significant is tonight for the Coalition? Well, Janice, this is really the Coalition's pre-election pitch to voters. They're promising to pay down debt and cut taxes, but what they're really trying to achieve tonight is to win over disillusioned voters, people that might not be happy with the Coalition, but also Canberra after the knifing of Malcolm Turnbull last year. What else is unique about this budget is that an election could be called as soon as tomorrow. Now, Labor has been ahead in the polls. If they continue that trajectory and go on to win government in six weeks' time, we already know that they've told us that they'll be handing down their own budget document come September. So we could be in this same position in a few months' time. The reality is that tonight's document will be poured over, but there is the possibility it could be pulped in six weeks' time. Thanks for the update. That's Hannah Sinclair live from Parliament House.